A rare and important astronomical event is set to take place on June the 5th of this year, 2012. At shortly after 2200 Universal Time, the planet Venus will move into perfect alignment with the Sun. Viewers on Earth will see the tiny black sphere of Venus moving across the Sun's face. This is a rare event. The next transit of Venus won't occur until December the 11th, 2117. Information for setting up your own equipment to safely view the transit is included at the end of this video. Scientists are very interested in this event. Spectroscopic examination of sunlight passing close to the planet will reveal details about the chemistry of Venus's atmosphere and astronomers searching for extrasolar planets have an opportunity to study the drop in light level that occurs when a planet orbits in front of its star, a standard technique for searching for planets outside of our solar system. The transit of Venus provides a rare opportunity to study this phenomenon up close. Possibly the first scientific observation of this event was completed by British astronomer Jeremiah Horhawks. On November 24th of 1639, he used a small telescope to project an image of the Sun onto a screen. This is the image he created. One of the amazing features of his observation is that he correctly predicted the date and time of this event. In the 18th century, astronomers proposed a method to accurately determine the distance to the Sun, a method that required precise observations of the transit of Venus from different places on the globe. 18th century transits occurred in 1761 and 1769. Most nations launched expeditions to observe this event. The list of observers was impressive and includes some familiar names from that period of history. Mason and Dixon observed the transit of 1761 from South Africa. These two are better known as the surveyors of the Mason-Dixon line. Another famous figure, Captain James Cook, sailed from England to Tahiti to observe and sketch the transit of 1769. He left us these drawings, documenting the image of Venus as it transits the edge of the sun. Data from these expeditions was used to improve estimates of the astronomical unit, the distance from the Earth to the Sun. Our last chance to see a transit of Venus will occur June 5th and 6th, 2012. If you decide to set up equipment to view this transit, there are some serious safety concerns you should be aware of. Never look directly at the Sun and never look at the Sun through binoculars or a telescope. The focused rays of sunlight will cause permanent eye damage, including blindness. A safe way to observe this transit is to project an image of the sun onto a screen. This is the method used by Jeremiah Horhawks. Use a pair of inexpensive binoculars to do this. These binoculars are 7 by 35s, meaning they magnify 7 times. They are secured to a 50 centimeter long board using a metal bracket and wood screws. I mounted a white card screen to the back of the board. The image will appear here. To align the binoculars with the sun, I used some blocks to hold the apparatus at the right angle. Once I had an image on the screen, I focused the binoculars to create a sharp image. You may have to experiment with the location of the screen to create the sharpest possible image. We have two images because binoculars are basically two small telescopes. You can cover one half of the binoculars if you only want one image. You can also adapt a tripod to hold this solar viewer. I bolted the device to the head of this tripod allowing for a quick setup and you can easily adjust alignment to follow the sun. Again, be very careful with your equipment. Do not leave it unattended and make sure no one attempts to look through the binoculars. When you first set this up and have a focused image of the sun on the screen, you may notice some dark spots on the sun's surface. These are sunspots. I noticed these sunspots on January the 18th, 2012. 
Sunspot activity increases on a regular 11-year cycle and appears to be related to an increase in solar flares. These flares can cause power outages and knock out wireless communication. They are also responsible for the northern lights, Aurora Borealis. It is predicted that we will be seeing an increase in the number of sunspots over the next few years. You can follow this development with your solar projector. The transit of Venus for 2012 spans June 5th to 6th, with the events starting shortly after 2200 hours universal time and lasting over 5 hours. This animation models the transit as seen from Vancouver, British Columbia. In eastern North America, my location, the transit starts a few hours before sunset, so I won't see the end of this event. The precise start time for the transit varies with location. Visit our website, hyloroad.com venus, for more information about viewing times for locations around the world. An app is being developed to allow smartphone users to submit their observations. Check the links at our website. Successfully predicting an event like this demonstrates the genius of those who contributed to our knowledge of the solar system. Jeremiah Horhawks was one of those brilliant minds, and his reflections on the transit of Venus, written over 370 years ago, capture the magic of this event. Thy return posterity shall witness. Years must roll away, but then at length the splendid sight again shall greet our distant children's eyes. For more science and technology videos, visit our website, hyloroad.com.